Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting trigonometric equation. We have tangent 1 over x equals 1 over tangent x. And one of the YouTubers, Papa Flammy, I think made a video, uh, something similar to this, like I think it was cosine 1 over x or something like that. And I just decided I should make one with the tangent. So let's see how that plays out. First of all, I have 1 over tangent x on the right hand side, which is good because it's the reciprocal so I can replace it with cotangent. And then let's leave the left hand side as is and put it on the right hand side, so switch sides. Now cotangent and tangent are co-functions and they are kind of like there's a complementary relationship. In other words, if two angles add up to 90 degrees or pi over 2 radians, then the cos cotangent of one of them is equal to the tangent of the other. In other words, we can replace cotangent x with tangent pi over 2 minus x. You can think of it as, for example, suppose I have cotangent 10 degrees, I can replace it with tangent 80 degrees because 10 plus 80 is 90. Make sense? I hope it does. Now, of course, we're going to keep the right hand side as is because our goal is to get tangent function on both sides. How do you solve a tangent equation? If you have tangent alpha equals tangent beta, then this can be solved very easily by t alpha equals beta, obviously, that's clear, plus n times pi. Because the pe period for the tangent function is pi, so we just add multiples of pi to both sides. So let's take this and just get rid of the tangents and write this as pi over 2 minus x equals, right, 1 over x, and then that's the other side, plus n pi. Okay? Great. n is an integer, by the way. Forgot to say. Could be positive or negative. And then our goal from here is to solve for x. How do you solve for x? Let's put everything that contains x on the same side, everything else on the other side. So that requires that we move the negative x to the right, so it's going to be x plus 1 over x here. And then we move the n pi to the left, so it looks like this. This time I didn't switch sides because <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know why I didn't, but that's what it is. But I'm going to switch sides now because it doesn't look good, right? I mean, some people write from right to left and that's probably normal, but for some people it's, it's not normal. Anyways, x plus 1 over x is equal to this. So what do you do with that? Our goal is to solve for x, never lose sight, right? So we should turn this into a more familiar equation. But before that, let me use the power of substitution. It's called POS, power of substitution. I just made it up. I don't know if, what it's called. but So this is my equation. Let's go ahead and call this, a um, I was going to say function, but it's actually a constant. Let's call that C. So I get x plus 1 over x equals C. C is a constant. Remember what it is because we're going to go back and back substitute. Okay? Multiply everything by x. Should be straightforward. And then subtract and solve. Right? So this is quadratic. So let's use the formula. Negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. a is 1. Great. So we got a solution. Remember, c is a little bit more complicated than this. But we're going to go back and substitute it. So c is given by pi over 2 minus n pi. And n is an integer. So it's going to take multiple values. This is a multi-valued constant, which is interesting, right? So let's go ahead and plug it in and see what x looks like. So one of the things you need to think about, can x be anything, right? Because you're, you're talking about tangent x. So tangent x should not be 0 because it's in the denominator, right? OK. So I think it can be anything. Anyways, let's go ahead and write the solution in um, terms of our co constants, whatever that is. And then I'll show you the results from Wolfram Alpha. Do you think Wolfram Alpha could solve this problem? OK. And then we're going to look at a graph at the end, which is, I think, awesome. Anyway, so c is equal to that. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Pi over 2 minus n pi and then plus minus. Then we're just going to have to take that expression square it and subtract 4 from it and then just divide the whole thing by 2 and you're done. So that's what it is. It's a constant, yes. 
if do you want to test it out i mean you can plug it in it's going to be uh, more work but if you want definitely so let's go ahead and take a look at some special cases like what happens if n is equal to zero then you get a simpler solution like pi over two plus minus okay this is going to be turned into pi over two squared so you can kind of write it as pi squared over four minus four and then if you want, you can make a common denominator, take the four out, make a common denominator again, so on and so forth, and you can get it in the simplest form. No big deal, but that's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and take a look at the results from, from alpha. What do you think? There's going to be some solutions. And yes. So from alpha gave me these two solutions. Sorry about the resolution because when you enlarge it, unfortunately, unfortunately those are kind of like pictures. They're not like PDF, uh, so I don't know. Anyways, it just looks weird, but hopefully you can read it. This is uh, the solution that I got from Wolfram Alpha. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the graph. And the graph will actually use one of these values as a point, so pay attention to that, okay? Here's, here we go. So tangent 1 over x is definitely a really interesting graph because as x approaches 0, what happens is 1 over x gets larger and larger and larger. Actually, if you approach x from the right, which is positive values, then 1 over x is going to approach positive infinity, otherwise negative infinity. So it's going to oscillate between negative infinity and of positive infinity. It's kind of like an infinite oscillation. Anyways, so that's the k value. This is what k is. Plug it in and you get one of the solutions, which is an intersection point. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.